Hello, welcome to the IZ Insurance Conference. I am your host, Helen Piri, and today I am joined by the Economic Association of Zambia President, Dr. Salomin Dahawazoka. Join me as I chat with him. How are you? Uh, I'm fine, and you? I'm good. <laughs> Why are you doubting? You don't look like you're sure. Yeah, yeah, too you're many doing. things happening. You know, too many, too much pressure from all angles. Yeah. Um, but that's basically life. Yeah, yeah, it happens. Yes. Uh, so how is uh, the association doing? The association is doing fine. Uh, we, this week we're hosting um, a Lusaka Economic Forum, mini mm. endeavor uh, to discuss Zambia's current economic situation mm. and the way forward. Uh, of course, we're also part, uh, participating in the uh, EAS uh, uh, conference. Mm -hmm. uh, we're very happy that uh, we've been invited to come and interact with insurers. Mm -hmm. Insurance industry remains one of the most important industries in Zambia, mm -hmm. and they will contribute to uh, job creation, uh, tax revenues, uh, for you know to fund government operations, and also uh, to uh, hedge risks that uh, um, you know that businesses f uh, face, and also personal. Uh, risks like uh, injury, you know, motor vehicle theft or damage and so on and so forth. So without insurance, we'd, we'd be very worried and uh, it would be very difficult for us to, uh, to even take risks. Okay, so the theme for uh, the, the sixth annual uh, insurance conference is seizing opportunities for growth amidst challenging uh, times. How would you interpret it? Well, I interpret it that, uh, you know, uh, the world is going through global financial challenges. Yeah. Uh, you know, industries have been shut down uh, due to COVID. So in any, in any situation, they are winners. So uh, business people, you know, should seize opportunities to see which industries are there. If, for example, a company has been closed abroad mm -hmm. and they are producing goods and they are the comparative advantage to supply to Zambia, mm -hmm. uh, you need to do substitution, you know, import substitution. You start producing it. In that run, you get more income, you know, you employ uh, Zambian citizens. And, uh, you know, so in each in situation, we need to find uh, a way out that is going to benefit not only uh, businesses, not only households, but also uh, the country as a whole. Okay, so you, you were talking about yeah, COVID, and obviously a lot of things have been affected. How would you describe Zambia's economy the past year? I think it has been very challenging uh, because, uh, you know, for example, one clear sector, the tourism industry is almost shut down. Uh, we don't have inflows from, from abroad, you know, uh, heavy spenders are not coming from Europe because Europe has been uh, hardly hit by, uh, by COVID. You know, the um, hospitality industry, uh, bars, restaurants were closed for some time. You know, a lot of people, you know, went out of, of you know, of job. The education sector also, cinemas, mm -hmm. uh, you know, sports activities, you know, where people make money. All those uh, sectors were almost at, the, were, you know, shut, you know, at one point. And uh, the people started it into yeah. their capital. Some businesses managed to reopen. Some have shut down. So those are the challenges that we are facing. So even to collect revenue as government, for example, they are finding it very difficult. Zambians should uh, take in interest in the tourism sector. You know, sensitization of Zambians to take up insurance uh, products so that they are you know well insured and they are able to risk take. Mm -hmm. And you know, the risk takers will always end. A higher return because the more risk you take, they have the the, the the return. So those are the issues that we are currently working on. So uh, uh, as much as you are working on those things, there's always uh, there's people talking. Maybe they feel like you're not doing much, but on your own, you've given us the map of the things that you're doing. What are the biggest challenges that you are facing as an association? We normally do a lot of events, you know, to fundraise, to you know, do our own operations. Uh, those events are not there, you know, so we. You know, we now depending on where we share and you know our own contribution as board members, we normally fund the association. You know, just to pay rentals, you know, to fund operational uh, costs and so on, and do advocacy. Of course, some partners sometimes with a certain uh, you know uh, programs outsource us to do certain things. Mm -hmm. uh, for example, this week's uh, you know economic uh, forum or Indaba is uh, you know organized entirely using our own resources as board members putting in money together getting a venue inviting people to come and speak that's the contribution that probably won't go out and tell people that we are doing that as 
as he has said. But we try to, as much as possible, yeah. safeguard the image of our country, the interests of our citizens. Uh, those that uh, see the value, appreciate. There will always be naysayers. Uh, and, you know, this is life. Let them continue talking because it's also their space. Yes, mm -hmm. is to, crit to criticize. Critics are, are very needed. They make you even perform more, you know. So as an association, we have that. Before I let you go, I would love to find out what has been the best, the best part for you um, on this year's conference, insurance conference. I think the people are very responsive. Uh, I think uh, the insurers are very uh, organized. I'm very happy with uh, the approach uh, that uh, they have taken. I think this is uh, quite commendable. Um, I hope n next time I'll spend more time here. I think this um, you know, association is uh, you know, very proactive and uh, looking at the industry itself, they're doing a very good job. Thank you so much. Thank you. This has been the IAZ Insurance Conference. I was your host, Helen Piri, and I was chatting with Dr. Luinda Hawazoka. Thank you so much for watching. Mm -hmm.